Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In the last video, we talked about creating aux sends in Reaper and routing tracks to another track for parallel processing. In this episode, we'll look at how you can route multiple tracks to an aux send all in one shot. But first, we're gonna need some audio. Let's take the project from the last video and add some drums to it. If only we had a drummer. Now that we've got some drums recorded, let's take a look at the project. I've done a basic mix on the drums and they sound pretty good, but I'd like to add some parallel compression to the shells to help them punch through the mix a bit better. I'll start by adding another track, and I'll call it FX Drum Comp. We'll add Rhea Comp to this. And just as with our previous example, if I start playing now, you'll notice there's no signal routed to this track. We can drag and drop from each track, but there's a quicker way. I'll start by selecting my snare top, and while holding control, I'll click the additional shells that I'd like to add to the compression. If all the tracks were contiguous, we could click the first track and hold shift to click the last track. But since I have folder tracks in between, I want to make sure that the folder is not selected. With the desired track selected, I can now hold shift and click the routing button on one track, just as before, the icon turns to a jack, and I can drag that over to my parallel compression track. When I release, you can see it only shows the track that I had dragged from. If we look in the mixer, we can see that each of these has been routed to the misspelled drum compression track. If I click the routing button on the drum compression track, I can see the receive from the snare top, snare bottom, kick, tom 1, tom 2, and tom 3. By default, the sends are post fader and post pan. We can change this, but in this case, I'd like to keep that as is. We'll discuss this further in a later episode. If I'd like to change how much I'm sending to the parallel compression, I can adjust the slider just as we did in the previous example. I can also adjust the sends on each track in the mixer. Sends on the mixer is optional, so you may not have that turned on. To enable that option, click the lower left corner of the master track and place a check mark on Show Sends when size permits. If you still don't see the sends in your mixer, you may have to increase your track height. With this option enabled and with the tracks high enough, I can left click and drag up or down to increase or decrease how much I'm sending to the parallel compression from each track. Now that these tracks are routed to the parallel compression, let's start to adjust our compressor to get the sound we want. I'll solo the track for now to make sure that I can hear the compression as I adjust. Right now the compressor is not working, so I'll need to turn down the threshold and also increase the ratio. We're starting to get some gain reduction here, so I'll adjust a bit further. I'll also adjust my RMS size down to zero milliseconds to make this respond as quickly as possible. Let's try again. I'll add some makeup gain. And that sounds pretty good. Now let's blend that back into the original track. I'll start with the parallel compression all the way down and unsolo this so we can blend it into the mix. There are many ways to route tracks to other tracks in Reaper, but this way allows you to route several tracks simultaneously to the same receive. I hope this helps. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link below. I like coffee. Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. I like coffee.